in this video, we'll look at four of the new features in Xeros 8, the newest release of Xeros from Verilite, available free of charge for Flex S, Full Size Flex, and Xeros Server. The first thing you may notice is that this Flex S48 has more than 96 fixtures attached. This is because Flex S now supports four pages of fixtures and playbacks instead of two. You will see here that the page button works as normal for page one and page two, but I can now access a third and fourth page. The first LED blinks to indicate the third page and the second LED blinks to indicate the fourth page. Remember that you can only access channel pages which have fixtures patched or playback pages which have cues recorded. If there's nothing on the page, the page will not be accessible apart from when adding a new fixture or recording a new queue. This means Flex S48 now supports 192 fixtures and 193 playbacks. That's 192 on the faders plus the master playback. Flex S24 supports 96 fixtures and 97 playbacks. In addition to this, we've doubled the number of palettes and groups that are supported on both of the FlexS consoles. Secondly, we've removed universe upgrades and are providing free of charge automatic upgrades for current users. FlexS consoles now support 2048 DMX channels, which is the equivalent of four universes, and the full size Flex consoles now support 4096 DMX channels, which is the equivalent of eight universes. Remember that all of these channels can be spread across 64 universes. If you press the Z button to access the Z window and click on System Information, within Desk Info, you'll see a new indication of how many DMX channels you have available to you and how many you have used so far. Thirdly, we've updated the layout of the fixture schedule, which you see when you first enter Setup. We've given more prominence to the name column, we've added the channel count of each fixture that's patched, and we've had a general rearrange and tidy up resulting in a cleaner, simpler feel. The fourth big new feature is Relay Per Fixture. In venues where relays power the lighting grid, Xeros can now control these relays in a more useful way than was previously possible, and without eating into your fixture count. I'll bring up this Rig Switch Plus interface, which is our newest relay panel, so we can see this in action. You'll see this new relay column in the fixture schedule. Here we can add DMX addresses of the relay that each fixture is plugged into, and it works just like normal patching. So I'll select my Acclaim LED for nouns. I'll click the relay button up here, and I can give my relays a DMX universe. I'm going to give it universe 50 and I can set the first DMX address. You'll notice there's an unpatch button if I want to remove the relay, and there's add an additional address if I want to add multiple relays to a single fixture. You can add the same relay to multiple fixtures. This is for situations where multiple fixtures are all powered off the same relay circuit. It's important to know that relays added in this way cannot be programmed into queues. If you need a relay to turn on or off as part of your show, you should patch these as nundims in the normal way through add fixtures. To turn these relays on and off manually, there's a new option within the Z window. You'll see the option here to turn all the relays on or all the relays off. If I select some fixtures, you'll see that this changes to allow me to just turn on the selected fixtures or to turn the selected fixtures off. Selected off is currently shown as disabled because all the selected fixtures are currently already turned off. If I try to use a fixture which is plugged into a relay that's currently turned off, Xeros will display this warning and give me the option to turn the relay on. So I'm going to click turn on. You can see here that this is warning me that this fixture shares a relay with fixtures two and three as well. As well as manual options, we have automated options available too. I'm going to go into Setup, click Settings, and then open the Operational panel. You'll see this Automatically Manage Relays option, which I'm going to enable. 
Take note of this off delay, which is currently set to 10 minutes. We will come back to that later. I'm now going to leave setup. And Xeos is now going to automatically manage whether the relays are turned on or turned off. So if I try and turn on fixture 6 here, Xeos automatically turns the relay on. And when I lower fixture 6, Xeos will automatically turn the relay off if it's not also on somewhere else. And it will do that after the wait time that we saw earlier inside setup. When a playback is triggered, Xeos will automatically turn on any relays used by the fixtures that are programmed into that playback, even if they aren't in the first queue, so they're powered on and ready for your show. Here you can see that only fixtures 7, 8 and 9 came on in the first queue, but Xeos has turned on relays 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12, because those last three fixtures are used in a later queue. When the playback is released, Xeos will automatically turn off those relays if they're not being used anywhere else after the wait time. There are many other enhancements and bug fixes included too, for which full details can be found in the Xeos 8 release notes. These are available alongside the Xeos 8 software download on the Very Light website. If you have any questions, please reach out to our technical support and service team on entertainment.service at signify.com. Thank you.